on the subject of stand or base distortion, the way it contacts the floor, if you look at a precision machine like a surface grinder, they are built from the outset with just three feet, in this case, two at the front and one at the back, in the centre. And the advantage of that is three points of contact don't produce any stressing to the base, any twisting of the carcass of the base or stand. And this means you can move it to different areas of floor and the same loads are applied to the stand. Whereas with four feet, there's always going to be three in contact and one providing um, an out of balance stress or twist to the base. And um, when it's moved to different portions of floor, uh, that, that will vary and so the, the base carcass or stand will twist and that's likely to transfer through to the top part of the machine and cause variations in the accuracy of the machine. So on this build I'm doing at the moment which is modifying the original stand and enclosure for my original tour mark. I'm building it with a three base design, a three foot design, just like the surface grinder. And you say, wait a minute, I could see five feet there. Well, there's three key feet, these three adjustable feet, two at the front and one at the back. And that's what will take the load. And the two outer back corner uh, feet will be there just clear of the floor, perhaps a millimeter clear. And that's there for safety. And we live in an earthquake prone area but anyway just just a good feature to have uh, on a machine in case somebody were to climb on one side or it was unevenly loaded it could temporarily uh, rest over on those outrigger feet which are nothing more than safety feet so essentially this is also a three foot design which does not allow for a stress transfer through the carcass of the stand or base and into the machine and the alignment of the slideways. So this subject of three feet versus four feet, you might think this is overkill and just getting carried away with the design. Well, I beg to differ. I think it's very important. Machine tools are really heavy and the stands on these type of machines are generally fabricated and quite light and flexible, especially the standard Tormark stand is very light and flexible. So you've got a lot of weight bearing down on it. And if you've got four feet in contact with the floor, it's almost certainly going to produce some twist to the base. And if you move the machine to another position, it'll twist and stress differently again. Now if the if the stays, if the stand is twisted, um, then even a small amount, that twist the whole carcass of the stand is twisted, that twist will transfer through to the base of the machine. The base of the machine is actually, relative to its proportions, quite a light casting. It's, imagine it's just a, a hollow biscuit of cast iron. And although it's more rigid than a typical stand, fabricated stand, it will still flex. And um, if it flexes a few thou, that throws the y-axis slideway out of alignment. Um, when you set these machines up, you need to have three-point contact under the base of the machine, say two at the back and one in the middle at the front, to, to allow the base to be relaxed in a neutral position and then measure the gaps on either corner at the front here, on the left and the right, and shim it to suit so that the base of the machine is sitting in a relaxed way. Believe me, that is a, an important consideration. I've done some measurements with... Uh, stressing the base with a dial indicator and it has quite a big effect on the y-axis slide weight and the gib adjustment. So when you've got it in a neutral position and you've got the gib adjusted, you've got even contact and um, the best accuracy of the machine applies. But if the base is twisted, you get uh, uneven contact, point contact, and the gib adjustment means that the x and y slide ways are actually out of square. So this is really worth considering, and it relates back, if you can follow my train of logic, through to the importance of having the actual stand of the machine underneath the base stress-free, or as stress-free as possible.